G'day guys, Tim here again. Just want to introduce you to how I set up my radio schedules uh, for Wi-Fi radio at home or if I'm streaming. I uh, just want to give you an idea of a bit of a walkthrough on, on what I do. So Radiologic Scheduler, if you haven't got it already, you can get it from the same download page as Radiologic DJ. You don't need Scheduler, but Scheduler just helps the whole automation process go a lot smoother and you're not manually having to insert different aspects of your program. So what I've done here is if I just go to the go to the first set here uh, that I've called CraigTube, so the songs that I've got and the sweepers that I've got, I've got these ones down to a, a probably a fine art in that I've got them very specific. So everything runs out of your iTunes playlists. So the more specific you can get your iTunes playlists, the more specific you can have your program. Okay, so if we just want to look over here, um, let's have a look. For example, I've got my Craig Tube 80s sweeps. So these are all the ones that relate to the 1980s. Uh, here's one here that's Canadian sweeps. So we're introducing a Canadian song or um, uh, the sweeps on that one there. This is one for Craig's original music or ones that are all got sort of an easy nature to them. And down here you've got the rock ones. So you can see how by building your smart playlist or just a playlist that you've made manually inside iTunes is how more specific you can actually make your, your schedule and your program. So in this case, what I've done is I've set up for a fill command, which is in here. So you go down and you check fill. And what we want to do is click top of the hour so the top of the hour here comes in and what that means is we're going to fill from this particular iTunes playlist which I've called eMotivators. Uh, it'll, any songs that aren't filled from the previous hour it will top up to the top of the hour or as close as it can to play the next event here which is a station ID. Okay so I've also said in there that it's a random track, it's a unique track and our artist and title separation along with our avoidance which means that it doesn't want to play on the same time you know of day that funny old radio thing we I heard this at the same time yesterday you want to avoid that kind of thing the artist and title separation I've set over here and I've set that to the maximum of 50 tracks so I don't want to hear the same artist inside 50 tracks or the same song inside 50 tracks anything outside of that is okay so that's where these attributes come in. So that there is a fill. Now what we've gone down to line two here is I've actually picked up a station ID. So that's from CTIDs, which is a playlist over here. Let's see if we can find it. There it is, CTIDs. So these are the ones that are the, probably the most impact, have the most station identification in this particular case for CraigTube. Okay, so it's going to pick from that particular list again it's going to be random and it's going to be a unique track so avoid programming the same track twice in this segment or in a queue so it's not going to come up again this particular hour so you've got some continuity there and then what I've done is Craig's pretty keen on Rush and it's a great band so what I've done is this is this is the first song after the top of the hour okay so after the top of the hour we want a good song that's going to kick everything off and get everything going. So what I've asked it to do is do a pick from our Rush playlist. So again, you go back to um, uh, iTunes. And where is it? There. So I've just set up a smart playlist and all the Rush songs that I've got that have um, come off a CD and, and put them into there. So it's going to pick from that particular list. So typically Rush songs, you know, that progressive rock. So there we go. So that's going to be our kicker for the start of the hour. After that, what I've set in is with another pick, and this time we're picking from the Craig Tube Rock Sweeps playlist inside iTunes, and we want a random track and a unique track again, so that we're not going to replay these again in the same hour if we're asking for that. Okay, so that there is going to introduce our next rock song. So ultimately this is between two rock songs. So what I've done in line five is done another pick, and also set a maximum time okay so the maximum time here is 57 30 so that's 57 minutes and 30 seconds into the hour okay so we want these so that at the end of the schedule 
that all our songs are going to fit within that or as close as it can to the top of the hour and if there is anything left over then our command for the next hour which is that one we looked at originally the fill is going to cover that up to the top of the hour and play that station id within that minute and it's very very good at doing that sometimes it's bang on within the seconds uh, but obviously there's a whole minute as long as it'll play inside that minute so we've got that one there so our rock sweeps our rock song and then what I've done is I've actually followed that up with a second one which is now we've changing the the tone a little bit so we've now going to pick from the Craig Tube pop okay so where have we got that one there somewhere in here do, 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 do. there it is you probably spotted it before I did now that one there got a few issues with iTunes at the moment that's not remembering some of our um, some of our things so that's one thing I've just got to work out. So any genre that's within the particular criteria that I've set that it's got pop as the genre and it's got the criteria also in the grouping which is Craytube, it would go into there. So we've got that restarters. This is a this is a manual one that I've dropped in there as well. So you can pick from any of those playlists. So that one there is obviously going to have a little bit of an issue when it tries to look for it because there's nothing in there and it'll show up in the log saying, eh, wrong. So basically what I've done is set up two songs, a sweep, two songs, a sweep. And what I've also done, if you want to look at that down here, is, oh, there you go. That's a perfect one there. Craig Faraway Original. So this is his intro. So this is like a, a sweep to introduce his original song. Sorry, that's that one there. And then the song is going to pick, pick from his original music. So we've got the sweep and then we've got the song. So that way I know exactly what's going to play after that. And we've also some, done something else a little bit different in this hour just to show you what we can do. Uh, we're going to pick from a sweep that's talking about Australia and New Zealand music and then play straight after it Australia and New Zealand music from the playlist that's been created. And here we are here about probably halfway through the hour. So I've set up another station ID. So that station ID is going to just again just re-emphasize re where everything's at. This is who we are and this is what we do. And the sweepers are kind of in the middle to just sort of tell and help move the program along and just to say what's going along really. So again it's just this two song sweep, two song sweep. And we just made a little bit of a change to a couple of 80s songs with a Craig Tube introductory sweeper there and there's some Canadian content so we're going to play a Canadian song after that obviously Craig's from Canada, Canada, Canada and uh, and also this one here is a mashup so this is a little program that I've put in there it's a little mashup just to make Craig sound like he's saying something completely different uh, out of some of the some of his videos that he's done so it's just a little bit of a funny and it'll it'll do a pick from that particular playlist again so and obviously it's not going to play the same one uh, if we if we chose to do it again in that in that hour so i've got right down to here and there's about 27 lines of the songs that i've got here they're all probably roughly around three and a half four minutes long and 27 lines seems to get me to pretty much close to the top of the hour generally there's maybe one song short so the last two songs in the hour that i've put so to fill right up to 57 minutes 30 is the same emotivators that we had set right up here at the top. So that way the continuity is the same if it needs that. Uh, it'll drop any of these lines if it doesn't need them. And same with this one, it won't necessarily need to use it if that hour is full. So if you want to look at this as a, as a way to go, uh, just a alternating two songs and a sweep, two songs and a sweep, or you can get it more specific and start adding in those extra playlists. That's That can be pretty cool. And what I've done also is I can change the set. So I've, I've kept the same format, but what I've just done is just changed. So partway through the hour, we now got a little focus on disco music, for example. Or um, down here, we've got Stevie Nicks. So there's going to be a Stevie Nicks song playing after a Stevie Nicks sweeper. And just try and massage the program so that, that everything's not too jolty around in too many different genres but at the same time uh, you've got some real good flow and that's just experience and time and you'll work out what sounds good and how to break that up with a sweeper or a station ID is a good reset point you know if you want to change the change the flow of where things are going so if we go back to here 
uh, our first set, we'll go back to properties. What's our time? So we'll let's set that one to 12, 12 p.m. And it's set for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I could build that for the next three hours. We want to play that particular set. Or I could come back and I could alternate with this particular set, change these to that one can play at one o'clock. And the next one can play at two o'clock, three o'clock, and then go back to the first one again, just to mix it up a little bit. But I'll show you what's going to happen here. So what we've done is we've set our script. So we've this is what Radio Logic DJ has been asked to go and look for. And we'll just click on the first one. Now normally this will build itself automatically, as it says down here, 20 minutes before the start time. So literally that's going to be, in this case, it would have been four minutes ago uh, if it was going to do it automatically. So if we hit build now, it starts doing all its checks and making sure we can get that. And then over here in Radio Logic DJ, it's going to start filling that up. So there's going to be about 15 minutes worth of songs to fill up to the top of the hour before you see the station ID because we're starting this program at uh, a quarter to the hour. So it's going to use a big fill section. But once you've got your next hour going, uh, it'll, it'll, there'll only be maybe one song if it needs it. So that should be good. Here we go. And if that was on auto on, boom, we're away. So that would start playing automatically. It's also going to actually set up the time. <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, right down to here. Now, if you see anything, this is a good example. If you see any anomalies here, like we've got a couple of a couple of sweepers here back to back and we need to go back and have a look at what happened either in our log that will tell us if you if you go through there and you have a look at why okay so it's failed to find the qualifying tracks so what we need to do is look at our schedule and go well why was that it couldn't find them and we probably had a look before there's something going on there with itunes i would say so what i would do in this case is just delete one of those out of there no drama and that takes us to 12.53 so that's seven minutes before one o'clock now I could drop another song in there manually if I wanted to or I could uh, just let the next top of the hour fill it up for us which is which is fine to do so what I like to do is just color code uh, the different events that are happening so I've got the promos there they're in the light blue so there's your top of the hour 11.59 uh, and that's where it's going to start and finish and we've got as we programmed in our rush song and then we've got our rock sweeper and then our rock songs that come after it okay and then right the way through so there's our Craig Faraway original sweeper and again the song so you can be very very specific with how you want your program to run as long as you're using those iTunes playlists and, and get very detailed on it so I hope this helps you guys uh, build and um, and get a bit of a bit of a kick out of how you can actually program your own station, and uh, and the power of this Radio Logic scheduler. As I said before, you can do this manually, but having this and setting it up in a in a way similar, it's just it's a kick. You can watch it just roll out, and um, all in front of you, and it's just let it go. You know, enjoy the music and enjoy your hard work. So cheers, guys! If you like the content. Hey, feel free to subscribe if you've got any questions or anything I can uh, help explain a little bit better for you. Uh, just drop me a line and uh, we'll catch up on another video soon. Cheers.